Don't forget to go to ashkicking.com for pound for pound the best home health and beauty fragrance products. Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze from Wilder, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation, baby. You have got to be kidding me. Luis, you have got to be kidding me. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? You know, I kept getting messages sent to me left and right. And I kept saying to myself, hopefully this is just a rumor. Hopefully this is just a rumor. And then all of a sudden, I went to uh, Mauricio Solomon's uh, Twitter account. That is the WBC president, and this is what he reported and posted on his account. WBC Boxing has received confirmation from VADA testing that Luis Ortiz has tested positive for banned substance under hashtag clean boxing program. This is horrible news, guys. This is horrible news. For boxing fans, for Deontay Wilder. But it's the worst news for Luis King Kong Ortiz when it comes to his career. Because if this news is accurate, this will most likely be the last straw for Luis King Kong Ortiz. Once again, Deontay Wilder is the only heavyweight in the division that has went after the toughest opponents in the weight class and yet because he's on a coincidental list just like Floyd Mayweather got treated despite not having anything in common with Floyd Mayweather outside of race and nationality now if you don't believe me that these fans are treating Deontay Wilder just like they treated Floyd Mayweather. Let me go ahead and prove it to you. When Mauricio Solomon posted this news, the first comment below his post was some decaf saying, oh, this means now Deontay Wilder gets to pick another bum to fight. Hashtag protected. Only when you are on the coincidental list do you get blamed for your opponent failing a drug test? And the crazy thing is this is not the first time this has happened to Deontay Wilder. These same decafs, they accuse Deontay Wilder of ducking, uh, what's his name? What was his name? Pavekin, right? Soon as Deontay Wilder surprises them, Gets ready to fly all the way to Russia to fight Pavekin in his own backyard. This man, just like Luis Ortiz, at least according to the WBC, fails his drug test. He fails his drug test. And yet, even though he failed his drug test, they still said the man on the coincidental list is just picking bums to fight. He's protected. I want you guys to understand how ridiculous this sounds. Imagine if Gennady Golovkin, you know how he decided not to fight Andre Ward? Well, imagine if Andre, or imagine if Golovkin just decided, you know what? I'm going to fight Andre Ward. I'm going to beat him. I'm going to show people I'm better, et cetera, et cetera. He signs the contract. The fight is done. It's a done deal. It's signed. It's official, right? And then all of a sudden, Andre Ward fails a PED test. Do you think anyone would be calling Golovkin a coward and saying that he's protected after he signed a contract to fight Andre Ward and Andre Ward failed a PED test? That's a rhetorical question, isn't it? I mean, but it doesn't even have to be Andre Ward. Hell, what about Jamal Charlo? Let's say Jamal Charlo failed a drug test after, after Golovkin agreed to fight him. 
What about when when Laura was calling out Canelo? And then Canelo decided to fight Laura. Imagine if Laura failed a drug test. Right? Imagine if Leo Santa Cruz decided he was going to fight Guillermo Rigo. Right? And then Rigo failed a drug test. Would you hear anyone still calling Leo Santa Cruz protected? Come on, man. I could give you guys tons of examples. But we know what time it is at the end of the day. So anyway... Luis Ortiz, according to these reports, he failed his drug test. This fight is most likely off if this is true. And, uh, man, this is bad, guys. This is bad. I guess this means now um, Deontay Water will most likely go after uh, Anthony Joshua. Not only will he most likely go after Anthony Joshua, but uh, now Bermain Stavern. Remember, Deontay Wilder's people, they paid off uh, Stavern so that they could fight Luis Ortiz. So they may end up fighting Bermain Stavern in the main event. That's probably what's going to happen. If this is true that Ortiz felt this test, I wouldn't be surprised if Wilder just fights on Bermain in a rematch. That's the only fight that really makes sense. So this is very unfortunate. I'll be talking more about this. Uh, when we do the show. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. This is Bobby, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation.